hi and welcome to this video in today's video I'll show you guys how to detrend that series using the Hotchip Prescott filter um, in eViews so so let's get started um, I've already inputted data <coughs> into eViews this is real GDP series for Latin American countries <coughs> excuse me um, so let's open up Trendon and Tobago for example and this is data from 1960 to 2015 and this data was sourced from World Development Indicators. So to run the HP filter, it has simply click on process to the top of the screen here. Click on Hadrick Prescott filter, it's that easy. And this is dialog screen comes up. So the smoothest series is essentially the trend component of this series. If you use, um, find um, decomposes a series into the composite trend component of the series um, we can get the cyclical component as well um, let's need to name the series so let's name a cycle for example and leave the name given the um, standard name given by views um, as you can see here the lambda which is a smoothing parameter is 100 for annual data if you are using quarterly data the stand the standard lambda will be 1600 and for monthly data it's 14400 eviews will automatically generate this for you so you can edit lambda directly or you can set lambda according to Raven and Earth to paper but I'll just leave it at um, the standard given by eviews and generate the series so here we see the <coughs> output using the Hotrick Prescott filter the blue represents the real GDP series for the trend that is the economy while the red indicates the trend component of the series and the green represents the cycle the cycle is essentially the business and the literature is referred to as a business cycle or the output gap so you can essentially use the HP filter to calculate the business cycle or output cap as well. So to find your, to, if you want to get your trend component, you can just simply find where you, the new variable that you have named it and created it. Um, so let's look at the graph separately. So this is the trend component generated for Trinidad and Tobago with GDP see that has been increasing up from the 19 mid 1990s um, for the cyclical component see this look at the graph for the cyclical component and you see that the cycle has been very volatile uh, mainly probably due to the fact that Trinidad and Tobago is essentially a, a resource uh, economy that is heavily dependent on its resources, natural that is oil and gas, oil and gas. So thank you guys for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Please rate, subscribe, and share.